Welcome to this week's Technology Thursday. I'm the Director of Precision Ag, Jeff Buick, and with me today... I'm Jack Gerhardt, Director of Aftermarket Strategy. Now, if you ever stood in the back of uh, some of our tillage equipment before with these tools in your hand, chances are you probably had a wet season, like many of our customers had this year. It's been unfortunate, but there's an attachment available now uh, through John Deere uh, for uh, the rolling baskets on some of our tillage equipment. So Jack, do you want to tell a little bit more about it? Sure. Uh, looks like we are going to be facing some wet conditions in many of our uh, production areas this year, so uh, we may have to make some adjustments to get, get through the ground and get the benefits of a rolling basket, which is important on preparing your seed bed for next year. So if you uh, take a look at this basket, there's a, a new uh, aftermarket kit available that replaces uh, this, this hanger right here and this bearing here and puts a stationary scraper that runs inside uh, the, the length of this rolling basket. And as it, as it spins, that scraper stays stationary and, and scrapes the uh, mud out and keeps this clean and, and uh, laying down a good effective seed bed for you. So, um, the, uh, the 18 foot uh, ripper uh, setup is, is uh, $770 list price. Uh, I think it's available for, for all sizes. Um, it can be farm installed or we can do it at the dealership. So whichever you prefer. It's uh, something new for this year and uh, probably fitting for the conditions. So it's Technology Thursday, right? So we just talked about a piece of steel that we can put in. What's technology about that? Uh, on our 2730 rippers, you can put a true set controller on that allows you to make adjustments right from the cab. So rather than get in and out of the cab to set your pressures on the rolling basket, or maybe setting the depths on your ripper teeth, your leveling basket, or your uh, leveling discs in the back, or uh, the front discs on this machine, that can all be done from the cab and all that can get recorded and go into your records uh, so you can manage uh, those settings for next year as well. Uh, so we can add that uh, to your 2730 Ripper if it doesn't have it today. Uh, but if you do have it, it's another great way to uh, set it from the cab. So this week's Technology Thursday, I'm Jeff Buick. And I'm Jack Gerhardt. Committed to being your dealer of choice.